Okay, so what I've got here is I have a Blender file where I am working toward creating sustainable development simulator little by little. And in this particular view, in this scene, I have the IBC tank that I got from Google SketchUp, uh, Google Warehouse 3D, and that's without a top. And I've got the um, I've got the top of the tank right here, and I've drilled a hole through the top and put this pipe in so the food can get to the bottom of the IBC. Then I've got this one inch valve with a barbed barb hose connector for the effluent water to come out and that goes down about halfway. Then I've got the gas half inch valve and a barbed connector and that's where the gas comes out. And here I've got a box and that box has in the game engine has some logic bricks associated with it. The keyboard commands W, S, A, and D, typical keyboard commands for a game, and they make it go forwards, backwards, and left turn and right turn. And so that means that um, I also have a camera here that is parented to the box. Parent doesn't have um, the, the camera doesn't have much going on. It's got a wheel up and wheel down, which makes the camera pivot up and down, and that gives a motion so that we can see up and down. And then I've got this hand here, and the hand is parented to the camera, which is parented to the box, and that's going to be able to then grab the pipe and bring it over. And that's where the programming becomes interesting. I'm not using any Python scripts. This is all using the logic bricks. But what it does is uh, we start with a, on the hand here, we start with a keyboard command Q and E, which do motion and rotate the hand, um, rotating it in the Z direction. We have mouse um, middle button, which is associated with a sound and then with a simple motion. But the most interesting part of this is not what the hand does, it's what happens on the pipe. The pipe has a near touch button or near button with a distance of one, and then that triggers the creation of a parent relationship so that it parents to the hand. And then if I let go of the right mouse button, that's where the invert is, then it removes the parent and drops the object. So what it's supposed to do, and I'll go to the camera view here, it's supposed to, when I hit P, to play the game. When I use the scroll wheel, I scroll the camera up and down. I can go back with the object left and right. And then if I go with my X and Y keys, I can move the hand up and down. So now I go and I want to rotate around to go and pick up the pipes. When I get close, it plays the sound. I click on the right mouse button, and then I can lift the pipe up using the X and Y keys. Using the scroll wheel, I can get it to go even higher. And then I can move it, as you can see, up and forward. So that I can put it inside the tank and then bring it down. Oops, I ran the wrong way. Okay, so then I can put it down. And then, of course, I can also click on the middle button, I can rotate it. Here, that gets icky. 
It's a little bit too much, isn't it? So that was a bit too much. And I can rotate it right and left. So it's um it's getting there. It's just interesting to be able to to do this. Oops. Collisions I'm not setting quite right yet. I've got to work on that. But uh, yeah, it's um it's a lot of fun. That shouldn't be happening, but we'll work on that. And then of course I can raise this up and then let go, and then it drops. And then if I move my hand down again, my hand, there's my hand, then I can go and I can move forward. And I can pick this up again. Should be able to pick it up again. Let check that out. No, that's not. No. It's definitely not picking up. So there are some hooks in this. There we go. Got it again. And since I have it, I can turn around and bring it to the tank. Yeah. Yeah, job. So anyway, that's the, um, the basic idea. And once again, the way that it's working is by having the pipes, this part here, when we click on it, has the near sensor. So there is the different types of sensors. I have the near sensor. The property is hand. That's what it's going to talk to. And then the mouse right button goes through an AND statement here in the controller. Then it sets it to the parent, and the parent is the hand. So the hand becomes the parent. When I let go of the right mouse button, that's the invert, then it goes and it removes the parent, and that's how come we can drop it. The hand has other uh, actuators and controllers and sensors, and they're basically controlling the movement of the hand. The Q turns it to the left, and the E turns it to the right, and then we have a sound also that plays here, and that's that bell sound. And that's connected to when there is a near collision, when the hand touches any object. And um, this doesn't have anything on it, of course. The camera itself seems to have a uh, camera itself has no logic, just the hand and the box, of course. The box has some motions, the W, S, A, and D keys, just causing it to go in the Y position forward, in the Y position backward, that's why that's negative, and then the rotation when you have A and D forward rotation with A and negative rotation and D. So that's the uh, that's the scoop. Thanks. Bye.